Hey, what's up, everyone? Today we are checking out Chroma 5.1 or Chroma running Android 5.1. This is currently updated or was just released today as March 22nd. This is the current build. I just flashed it and checked it out, but I'm pretty um, familiar with Chroma on my Nexus 6. I use it as my daily driver, or at least I was using 5.0.2 as my daily driver. Uh, there's a lot of things missing or just currently not put into 5.1 from 5.0.2, so don't be as surprised as I was at first. Uh, Zephic was working to fix the VOLTE, the voice over LTE, first before going and putting all of the features back in. So yeah, this is basically where Chroma 5.1 is currently at, and I want to get you guys kind of familiarized with what's going on. But yeah, this is uh, March 22nd. It is the build number LMY47M. It is currently still running a default Franco kernel. It is build or release number 21 of that kernel, but you can use whatever kernel you want. But yeah, this is 5.1 Chroma. And to just go ahead and show you guys real quickly what's going on, you are still going to have your personalization menu subcategory for your settings. Everything's going to be in there for the most part, except for your ambient display settings, which will be found in display, as well as the LCD DPI density changer. And your sound and notification is going to, in fact, have your LED notification. So as I mentioned, this will be a little bit dependent on your kernel based on the battery light. So if you want to disable this completely, it will not just disable by turning off the toggle. You will have to do that through your kernel. And most specifically, if you're using Franco kernel, you will have to do that through the application. And most of you know that by now, but if you don't, that is basically what you will have to do to turn off the green LED when you are charging your phone. It will not just default turn off or be turned off. In your notification light section, you will be able to turn on your notification lights and you'll be able to adjust your colors. I have mine defaulted at red. The chroma default is blue, but you have the option to change that based on the RBG. You can turn on the custom values if you want and add specific applications and set up the color values based on those applications you add. They'll all show up down here in the apps and you can change the colors just like you see here. So you can also go into display to adjust your ambient display. You're also going to see your LCD density is going to be placed in here. Your ambient display can be enabled. If you don't use LEDs, you can use the ambient display. You can overwrite the original stock default values, and you can come in here into time settings and adjust those features. Now, the default is three seconds, but if you want your visible duration to be longer or shorter, you can come in here and base that on one all the way to five seconds. You also have a fade out and that will be based on the default one second, or you can adjust it by 200 milliseconds all the way down to two seconds. So complete control over your ambient display as well as your DPI in display. Now everything else is, of course, going to be in your personalization chroma subcategory. This is where you're going to find your OTA push notifications. I think it uses push bullets if you want to get the latest updates or you want to get notified each time an update is released. You can get all your information in about chroma. You can also see your change log with each specific update. So you do have app ops, which is brand new for 5.1 as well. This is a really, really cool feature, and uh, you can control what's going on with your applications. So if I use something like Bacon Reader, if I want to control my Reddit app, uh, you'll see here, and I have location toggled off as well as Vibrate. So you can control those, save some battery life or performance or whatever you're looking for. You can go in here and adjust your toggles for the applications. Now, not every application is going to give you the same list of values or features that you can enable or disable, but you can go in here and it's pretty much got anything and everything you want to look at in terms of your services and applications, and you can adjust those values. You do have your Chroma options, which is going to have your status and navigation bars and your power menu and volume rocker settings. So in the status bar, Everything is pretty much the same in here. The only thing that is missing are some of the advanced toggles that you would find in 5.0.2. They're just not quite integrated yet. They'll be featured probably or integrated in the next coming updates. Um, another thing you're going to notice is my LED light is still stuck on. It's kind of a little buggy right now, the LED notifications. Just be aware of that. It's just a little buggy in 5.1. But yeah, clock and date, battery icons, both are going to be the same. Uh, you can change the color on your clock and date in 5.1. Everything else is pretty much standard. Uh, you can adjust your clock based in the center or the right and all your AM PMs. You can get really specific with the date formats if you want to. Battery icons, pretty much you can use whatever battery icon you want. You can show the battery percentage within it to the side or you can disable it completely. Now the brightness control is pretty standard. Slide left to right on the status bar to adjust your brightness slider if you don't want to use the slider. Double tap to sleep and double tap to wake do work with the ROM. 
but are going to be dependent, as I mentioned earlier, with whatever kernel you will be using. Show notification count, you can toggle that on. Quick pull down is based on right or left triggers. You can also disable it if you're not a fan of that. Network traffic, pretty standard. You can enable your incoming outgoing data or both. You can actually see what's going on. You can place it up there by your cell signal strength. Show whether you can enable. If you want to enable this, it will be placed in your status header bar. It will require a soft reboot and it will require GPS toggled on at least one time to basically set it up. And your quick settings or quick toggles, basic stuff here. Like I mentioned, you're not going to have everything that you had before in 5.0.2 just yet, like the expanded desktop screen on time, uh, that kind of stuff. I was a little surprised to not see it in here, but then again, it is relatively new and he's trying to put everything into the 5.1. There's a lot of little confusion and issues with all of the builds and what have you. It's always a mess when Android gets updated, but we can look forward to that in the next update. And you can, of course, toggle everything just like before based on your preferences. Now, do be aware if you are going to use the enlarge first row feature, if you toggle this off, you will not get your advanced detail settings. So just be aware of that. If you disable that feature, it will just become an on and off toggle. So you won't get your advanced detailed settings. Uh, your navigation bar, pretty standard stuff. You can change up the buttons and layouts. You can add more buttons, more actions. You can change up the icon location or positioning. You can add more pages and what have you. Should you make any mistakes or you want to go back to the default, you can just hit that reset and everything will be back to the normal. Uh, you can change the button tint. This isn't featured in a lot of ROMs. So this ROM does in fact use or integrate the RRO layers or layers in general. So if you use layers and you want to match the layer, the layer color, you can come in here and change that up to match the icons on your nav bar. So that's some great stuff as well with Chroma that you're not going to find with some other ROMs in general. Uh, you do have clear all recents. As always, you can place this pretty much anywhere on the screen based on top or bottom. This has been a little bit buggy. You know, it will disappear and come back based on you know, changing your orientation. So just be aware of that. I don't really use clear all recents. I use the application recently. I have a video on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in the description below as well. Now you do have your power menu. You can go in here and adjust your reboot menu, your screenshot toggles and your advanced airplane mode. So if you hit the reboot and you don't get your advanced reboot settings, you will find that in developer settings in the original settings box. So go down to uh, developer options. You'll see it right there. Advanced reboot. Uh, if you want to use the volume rockers to turn on your display or your device, that is there. So that's a nice little feature. Just be aware that if you put this in your pocket a lot and you have a lot of issues with your phone coming on or turning on in your pocket, you're probably not going to want to use that. Playback control is another option if you want to seek music tracks by long pressing up or down that will seek music tracks. And you can turn off that annoying beep sound when you're adjusting your volume with this toggle right here. And then of course you have your key swap on rotation, which is just going to invert your volume rockers, basically swap them around. If you go into a horizontal position when you're watching a movie or media on YouTube or what have you, or a video game, that's what that does. But that's pretty much all of the features in Chroma currently in 5.1 as of March 22nd. Now these, like I mentioned, will be improved upon. We'll see all of this stuff come back from 5.0.2. It will come back to 5.1. So if you flash this right away, don't expect to have everything you had in 5.0.2. I kind of did, but then I kind of understand it's not it's not really here yet. And that reason's pretty obvious. You know, there's a lot of bugs to iron out and things to, you know, improve upon and fix before, uh, you know, what have you. You know, developers have their priorities and that's just basically the state of Chroma. Anyway, guys, that pretty much sums up Chroma 5.1 has of March 22nd. Now, I will be making more videos in the future or the coming dates on more specifically the updates that are featured. You know, basically I'll just make little short clips of, hey, these are the new features in whatever XROM it, I am talking about. And I'll put that in the description and the videos and my general overall YouTube channel. And you guys can let me know if that's a good idea in the comments below. Also give me a big like, punch that like button like a boss if you like this particular video. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these videos. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.